Good morning everybody and welcome. It's Scarlet Pete Self-Sufficiency and this is Scarlet. And what I thought I'd do is just share a few moments with the animals today with you. So this is Lily's pony, Lucky. She's a Hootsal and she's enjoying a scratch. Nothing better in a morning, she says, than a scratch. But she won't like the next process, which is going to be getting all those sticky things out of her hair she's got in overnight. She's got all weeds. She's eaten the weeds and rubbed her face in them. Let's have a look at her face. Is she really enjoying that? Oh, yes, she says. Horses love to be scratched and they'll often pucker their bottom lip and try to mutually scratch you back because they're showing appreciation for it. Oh, yeah, top lip. Yeah, oh, top lip, sorry. The top lip gets all droopy-fied. How old's Lucky? Eight. Lucky is eight. And she's given us one foal already. There we are, she's starting to mutually back scratch your head. And uh, hopefully she's got another baby in her tummy for me. And that's a Norwich stallion cross hootsel. So let's move over to the doggies and see what they're up to. They're just chilling and playing. This is Bella. Bella's a, an American Staffordshire. How old's Bella? Eight months. Oh, eight is the name of the day today. Oh, hello. Sorry, were we ignoring you? I'm so sorry. But the puppies needed some attention. And I, I've got bare feet earthing this morning. And having a pony creep up on me is a bit scary when I've got bare feet. Hmm? You've disturbed the dogs. They were... Oh, hello. She's uh, very in love with us at the moment. She was poorly the other day and had colic. So she had a bit of healing and got better, didn't you? Hmm? You good girl. So she seems to be very lovable at the moment. So I'm going to walk away from her with my bare feet because I'm earthing, grounding, whatever you want to call it. And say hello to Billy the Chihuahua. Billy is, how old is Billy? Uh, one and a half. One and a half. He's a boy. And they're going to just play. And what's really nice about watching them play Oh my goodness, you just have to be in on everything, don't you? What's nice about watching them play is she, the stronger staff, is holding back her temper, her aggression, her power. And he, the chihuahua, has no self-control whatsoever. And he's just viciously flies at her and plays so aggressively. There we go. So aggressively. He never knows when enough is enough. She'll put his whole leg in her mouth and pretend to chomp on it, but doesn't actually chomp. She just she just sort of pretend nibbles, which is amazing that they can communicate and understand how delicate he is. So there is a real bond between them. This is all play at the moment. We haven't had any real nastiness, have we? <laughs> yeah, hello. The, the horse just wants to be in on it all still. Look, see, the horse is going to go and inspect what's going on. So we've got her grass cutting at the moment here, haven't we? Yeah, are you grass cutting? Oh, you need me again, do you? Oh, such a nice horse. Now ah, then, Laser. Laser's a fox terrier mix with another fox terrier. Laser's a poorly old girl, aren't you? Laser. She's going to show everybody her belly. She needs a tickle. And the horse needs to get in on it again. Yes. Laser's got, sadly, she's blind in one eye and it looks like she's going blind in the other eye. And we're waiting to see how the other animals look after her and help her out, which I'm sure they will. So that's Laser. She's a beautiful girl. She hates getting her feet wet. And she's a real lady, the way she walks around and takes food from you. Who else have we got around here? Let's go and have a look. Bella's, <laughs> Bella was uh, struggling to get her bone from the horse, but uh, she managed to get it. The horse is now going to use the rope to itch her side. She does it all the time. She doesn't stay on the rope all the time, but she is, because she's come from Hungarians, uh, Hungarian driving gypsies I think she came from, she can ride and drive, they train their horses to be able to tie up safely. And um, so far we've never had a problem in five years with her. Yeah. She's been really clever. Yeah, five years, three years. Three years. Oh, we're going to itch. 
itchy time. So let's go see who else we can talk to. It amazes me how flexible horses are when they want to be. I'm going to go see the, ho the pigs now, darling. You can't be in every part of the video. Just a bit more, Mom. She says, just a little bit more. Hello, pigs. Here are the piggies. Just thought I'd show them to you. They're the piglets. They're about, how many months are they? You're going to tell me they're eight months or something now. Maybe five. Five or six months, yeah. And there's Mama. They're doing all right, aren't you? Hello. They've been enjoying drinking lots of milk from the house cow. If you want to find out more about the pigs' lives, I've got a series on that, Pig Chat. Going down the field now to see the cows. Clover, the mommy cow, and Orchid, the baby cow. Hello, Clover. Hello, darling. This is Clover and her baby. And the baby's about eight months old. <laughs> yes, one day old, one day younger than Bella. Ah. Older. So Clover is a jersey three-quarter jersey with a bit of holstein and and um frisian mix in her and uh she's makes some lovely milk we did a taste comparison the other day on her jersey milk versus the other jersey crosses milk and yes her jersey milk is a tiny bit nicer more flavorsome and creamy than the other um but we're having problems with her milking it's not her fault, but her, her teats are a bit small and we need to buy a new milking liner for the milking machine to take her teats. So when we want any milk from her, we just steal a bit. But she's basically been a mom, full-time mom, to the calf. The calf's over here. Let's go and have a look. This is Orchid. Let me try and go on the other side or you're going to get my shadow in it. Now for a jersey, her dad, we'll show you her dad in a minute, she is doing amazingly well. She's halter trained by Lily. She walks beautifully on the lead. Um, she gets a bit nervous about some things and says I'm not sure about going through there, but we just give her time. But we've basically trained them like horses, haven't we, Lil? They walk on and they trot and they stand and they put up with us. And she is so beautiful. We're so lucky to have her. And we're going to keep her. So if you see, look, she walks so nicely. Just beautifully. And we've got some lovely head collars we get for them. We're having some special ones made that we will be selling soon. Um, specially made for cows out of this thick material and webbing here, but a slightly different design, a much better design than that. So let's go see the bull. Train's coming. Dogs are coming with us, obviously. There's one not shown up yet, Sissy. She's an old grumpy girl. Chihuahuas have to be chihuahuas, don't they? Uh, yeah. And then you're holding him. He's scanning the area, especially at night time. <laughs> yeah, he watches. He's a watchdog from your arms. There we are, he's in scan mode. Last night I laid down on the floor and he sat on top of my belly. Mm. And is scanning everywhere. Aww. Protecting me. Aww. Here's Sissy, the old girl. Sissy sadly got cancer. Sissy, are you going to come say hello? Sissy! She's about 10 years old, I think, and she's got a horrible cancer on her tail, but the vet says we can't take it off. Hoping to save up enough money, oops, dog's around, to make a special cream that's supposed to take the cancer away, but it's about 60 pounds and I'm struggling at the minute to get the ingredients. Oh, hello, what? I know, it's us again. Being quite rude today. You are being rude, creeping up on me and putting your head on my shoulders. There's me, look, oops. You got a big enough bone? Let's go. We're going to go see the bull now. You coming, sissy? There's the duck and the goose. The goose is for Christmas. So don't say anything, but he's for Christmas. Yeah, he's been a bit aggressive. There was more than one of them, but I think the fox got hold of the one and we'll get hold of him for Christmas. He's our Transylvanian naked net chicken. He, well, he's a cockerel. Isn't he handsome? I love him. He's quite big too. He's very good with his ladies. He looks after them nicely. 
We're walking down to the field now. But the vet said, with going back to Sissy's cancer, it's not really anything to worry about. It's just on her tail. It's just like a round ball on her tail. So hopefully it can be dealt with with this magic cream I'm going to try and make. I've been doing research on it. So we'll have to see. Won't we, sis? But she's happy enough. She's well and it's not spread. The other option is to remove the tail. Don't know how I feel about that. Maybe some guys listening could give us some advice on it. It's not something that the vet wants to operate to remove, as in the cancer itself, because it's like three quarters of the way up the tail. So, hmm, we'll see. Let me know in the comments what you think, how you would treat it. Sissy, you can show us your tail? There it is, see? Good girl. Yeah, she runs around like a nutter. Off to see the boys. Chihuahua cam. He's watching the world from a safe place. Guarding. Ready to attack. Are they? Oh, he spotted something to go get. And here we are at our bull. I will see Lil, he's one year and about eight or nine months. Like two years, actually. No, it came no, up in my yeah. Facebook feed. He's one and one year, eight months approximately. Another eight. See eight's a lucky number for us. He we're having serious thoughts on because he's quite dangerous to handle. No, he's not showing it now at all. He'll um snort and uh, paw the ground and be quite aggressive towards us but maybe he was having a bad day the other day because I was all ready to put him in the pot the other day because he really was being naughty we wanted to sell him on to make some money for the small holding but nobody wants him um, look at the size of him he's a big beast he is out of our Holstein jersey and a cemental dad Look at that, he's lovely and sweet today. Maybe he's just split personality. Uh, look at that. So, that's our bull. Maybe that's what bulls are, split personality. I have heard that. What's he called? Dandelion. Is No, no, he's not Dandelion. And we'll show you to see Dandelion. Who's this then? Milk Thistle. This is Milk Thistle. Because he... Well, because he likes milk a lot. He was milky chops as a baby. Good boy. This is Dandelion. Is he doing an impression of an aggressive bull today? Oh, pouring the ground. Sometimes he'll tuck his head in and like sneeze or something. Yeah, they go <laughs> like that, yes. I think it's a sign of aggression, but anybody knows, let us know. They always do it when they bring them water. Maybe they just might be cleaning the dirt out of their nose, ready to drink. So this is Dandelion. He is the daddy of Clover, and we're trying to get another baby out of him. I did want to sell him, and I did want to put him in the freezer, but we're so pleased with what he's bred. He's a good boy, aren't you? Mmm. We'd still have to respect a bull when we handle them. And um, we always have a bit of blue pipe with us normally, which we haven't got at the minute. It's quite good to walk. Just to keep him away from us more than anything. You can use it just to push a distance between you, just so you're safe. Yeah, you're a good boy. You want to move on, do you? Is that the hint? We need to move him onto some fresh grazing. Do you want to drink a water? Is that what you were asking for? See, they always try and tell you something when they want something. Even the baby chicks will tell us when they're hungry and thirsty by making a big noise. And he was actually talking then, wasn't he, telling us? He's lunging towards the water. Oh. It's a good boy. There's Eliza. Nice lad. Such a beautiful day today. He is at the end of the lead, so he can't actually reach Lily with his horns or anything, can he, Lil? She's being careful how she's doing that. 
I would like to have no horns on the cows, but uh, it seems to be quite difficult to get anyone here to help you take them off. And it's quite a horrible process, but much safer without them. They are long. He did get to, we did try to sort it out earlier on, but it failed. We were given some cream you put on some paste. Right, next cow. Bye bye, dandelion. Should we go see the other cow, sweetheart? Hey, sissy? She's a good girl. Sit. Clever girl. Ready. Steady. Go on then. Go on. Whee! Off she goes. Come on, dogs. That's good recall for a young pup, isn't it? Billy the Chihuahua's coming. He came at the same time, but he's miles away. Billy! Laser! Shh. Can you see Billy coming? My eyes can, but can the camera? Billy! Billy's also got very re good recall. Billy's a good boy. Chihuahua power! I know at least one of our viewers has a lovely little Chihuahua female. She'd like to get to know you, I'm sure, Billy, because you're such a good boy. And he's so tiny. Checking water buckets. Laser! Laser's recall! Good girl, Laser! Dogs say, are you showing off? Yeah, they're getting, t she's getting told off by his lordship. Come on then, dogs. Let's go. Grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. That's Sissy and the Chihuahua. That's Sissy going. Rah, 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 rah. She's a grumpy old devil. Come on, dogs. We've had some bad news about Bella. We've been told she's got hip dysplasia by the vet and is telling us that she needs to have an operation in three years. What do you think? Anybody that knows, does she look like a typical hip dysplasia dog? Good dog. She has no problem getting around. It's just at night time. Yeah, yeah, she gets tired, but she's a big dog. She's got a lot more growing in her yet, is what I'm thinking, and I'm not rushing to the decision of having an operation yet. Her right hip, she carries that one differently, is always holding it up sometimes. Hmm. Anybody that knows, give us a comment, please. What would you do? Such a lady. Such a lady, look at her. <laughs> Billy's caught up. Yeah, that's a bit strange, that mark. It's got a little sore on it. I think she's got a bit of grass in it. I'm going to put some honey on it. I've put some oils on it already. It's getting better. Last winter she had them here on her Would sides. Be. We'll see. We'll the, the vets are a bit hit and miss around here. We had a problem before and we're begging them to come out and they wouldn't come out for the weekend. Sadly we lost the cow because they refused to come out. Anyhow, let's go see the other cow. Let's not dwell on bad things. Is she? She's enjoying the ride, look. <laughs> Cow spotted, we're coming. So we're just doing a check on all the animals and sharing it with you guys. So you can see what it's like to have lots of animals. Crazy dogs, cows. It is a lot of work in the winter. But what else would we do with our time? Sit inside by the farm. Mm. Doing knitting machines. Yes, knitting machines. That's a good link to my knitting machine videos. You may have noticed there's a few of them on my channel. It's Jasmine, my favourite house cow. She really loves humans. She's a lovely girl. As you probably heard from the previous videos, she's the one with the criminal record in the family. She's the one that got into trouble a number of times with the old owners for breaking the whole herd out of their electric fences and dragging them across the main railway line and the main roads. 100 cows following the criminal here. So we've got a... Her neck. Her neck Does she? The criminal in the family. You 
good girl. I absolutely love this cow. She likes cuddles. She loves attention. She's wrapping her head around Lily now, having a snuggle. She tiny bit of kicking when you milk her sometimes, doesn't she, Lil? Rarely. Rarely. We do have to watch for that. Um, the other cow doesn't kick at all, but I'm never getting rid of this cow. I love her too much. We give her baths, fuss, massage. The other cow only kicks when a dog walks past. Mm-hmm. And I like her horns because they're curly whirly ones. They curl in. I wonder if they're going to meet her and we'll have to deal with that situation. Let's have a look how her udder is today. Let's just show everybody your bits and bobs, sorry. So her bag's much smaller than it used to be. She's quite a long way into lactation now. And her bag's freshly milked from this morning, as you can see, because there's all creases and wrinkled. You're all wrinkled up. So that shows her bag's got a lot of filling up to do today. And we need to move her on later into a better bit of grass. They're all busy um, cutting the grass for us on the field before the pigs go on. But we spend most of our time playing with the animals, don't we, Lil? She likes that. This video is not really meant to be anything about her uh, learning anything. It's just sharing a bit of time with the animals with you. See what you think of it. Chilling out. And I think all animals need a bit of fuss and love and that connection with humans. They're not just giving to us. We're giving some love to them. We're not just taking what they can give us. We're giving them some fuss and love and thank yous for what they do. And they're an important part of the place. And we get good from them, don't we, Lil, when you're doing that? You're getting a nice feeling inside. We're getting closeness. And I absolutely love this cow. It's a real love feeling. And I think she knows it. Oh, the neighbour's dog's visiting. Neighbour's dog, Bruce, the American staff, who made us fall in love with the American staffies. Billy is going to go screaming in a minute at him because he doesn't like him visiting. Billy the Chihuahua, that is. Bruce is so mild-tempered, he just ignores the nonsense because he's come to visit his girlfriend here, our American staff. Have you hurt yourself, Bruce? You look, oh, you look a bit lame. What are you doing? So you can see, if he gets further enough away, he's more mature than our girl. He's got a few more inches growth in his height, but they very much love each other. So she's always happy to greet him when he pops over for a visit and a chat. Bruce? Bruce! Jereda! Jereda! Brucey! Jereda! Oh, he's definitely got a poorly leg. What have you done to your leg? So if Juju's watching, your dog's here. <laughs> Eat one up, Bruce! This is Bruce. Off we go now to see the other animals. We've got one left we haven't mentioned, which is Lily. Is he the most important? Mm, I think Lucky's the most important. Lucky is his mom and Star is the foal. Off we go to visit him. Just before we go see his lordship, Star, I thought we'd come and check the hay for any eggs hiding in there. Got a little bit of our hay stash that we made this year. Quite a poor, a poor harvest this year, sadly. Oh dear, no chicken's gold here today. No eggs. <laughs> Stunning, I love the colours, the freshness and the blue sky. Pallet Palace there. Made completely out of pallets by my crazy inventor of a husband. You'll see him every now and then on the channel. Oh, speak to me. Speak to me, Billy. <coughs> Good boy. Speak <coughs> to me. <laughs> Billy showing off. There's a brown dot over there. There's the pony. Lily's been and put a uh, lead on Bruce then and pulled him out of the garden. Put him free again now. Just in case he went and said too much of a hello to the rabbits and guinea pigs. Hello. Hello. Oh, even Billy can walk on the lead.
Wow. Have you been training that little thing? Have you been training him? The ladies are playing on the lead now. They've all got to have a go. Yeah? Lily's quite an accomplished trainer. She's very good with dogs, cows and ponies. As you've probably seen from some other videos with her backing her stallion and training him. Good girl. Lots of positive reinforcement and lots of fuss. Two dogs with one command sit. <laughs> it's so peaceful and calm and nice here. Hanging out hanging out with the animals until Billy has a woof at the neighbour's Bruce. So we're here and it's time to move his lordship. He's on a uh, tether as most Hungarian horses are and uh, Lily's about to move him. She's just saying good morning and checking on him, giving him his fuss. He's a colt so he's still got his manhood. Not for much longer though because he was a bit naughty the other day with me. I was quite upset. He decided to try and threaten me with both back legs. As well, I just moved him onto a nice piece of grass and he was being horrible. But he does love Lily, as you can see. So Lily's going to now show you how she moves her horse every day. How many times a day do you need to move him? Once or twice? Twice a day. So first we have to knock the knock the peg out of the ground. She was just asking him to back up there for his own safety. He knows what's coming. We loosen the peg, she pulls it out. Oh, we're going over here, she says. You can see the patterns in the grass. It's quite interesting if you look on the satellite pictures of our place, you can see all the grazed areas on one of the satellite pictures, it's quite good. just asking him to move out of the way. I'd move his bottom from you, Lil. Look, he's a bit close. After the other day with him threatening me with his bottom. Lily's not quite up to the swinging it over the shoulder like I do. Doesn't work for you. <laughs> you can do it, Lil. So he'll work his way back up towards the farm. So by the time the frosts hit and the grass has stopped growing. Oh, hammer throwing in, in with the sport as well, Lil, there. Yeah. By the time the frosts hit and the grass has stopped growing, he'll be all the way up the top and all of this will have been grazed down and fertilized. And then that just means we'll just have to put the chain harrow on it. This isn't our land. This is just some land we're allowed to use. So we really couldn't fence it in any way. And we have deer here as well. So we can't um, make it difficult for the deer to access the land. It's the national park. So he's got a leather head collar on in case you're wondering, which would break if there was a disaster. Got a piece of baling string. Yeah, so there's two safety features. There's a piece of baling string between the rope and the clip on his head. Actually, and, that, and he's got a um, leather head collar which would break in a disaster. Are you checking it's still okay, Lil? There we go. Show us the safety feature, Lil. Good morning, grumpy one. So where's his... Ah, there we go. So he's got... Turn him around so the sun's shining on it. Turn him this way. So point it out. So the leather head collar won't break. The piece of string will break, which is just there on the side. Which is a very good idea, Lil. Well done. He's now about 14 hands high, isn't he? And he's out of lucky the way the mare we first started the video with. So I suppose we'd better say goodbye 
as he starts to be naughty and nibble. Dogs are all in the background. He can enjoy his grass. So we'll all say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the moment of sharing our animals with you. Because there's lots of people out there that don't have animals to play with. And we can share them with you. Take care. Please like, subscribe and share. Leave me a comment so I know you're there. And watch out for some of the different videos we share on how to do machine knitting, crafting, milking, bacon making, hay making. Well, anything to do cheese making yeah anything to do with self-sufficiency and living off the land lots of love to you all thank you so much for watching night night bye bye good day wherever you are